Welcome back my beautiful people. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these tactical videos during the World Cup. Today's inspiration is coming from France. They beat Australia 4-1 comfortably, but I'm intrigued by their wing play. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say they use the wing play tactical style, like football manager with the low block and all of that stuff, but their wingers were involved in everything good France had going that day. So that's what we're going to do. We're creating a 4-3-3 inspired by France, looking at wing play. If you feel you're going to enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed as well, but also in the comment section, make sure you leave some tactical recommendations i already know what the next one is going to be spain yes they won 7-0 i see you guys in the comment section do spain do spain so spain will be next but for now let's get stuck in to this video So today's video is heavily inspired by France's win over Australia, 4-1, very comfortable. So I like to mix things up. What we are going to do today is kick off against Poland in the National League Division A. We're going to play that game. Hopefully the football speaks for itself so I don't have to do a full tactical analysis. Hopefully the tactic does it itself in today's game against Poland. And then I'm going to show you some results from Bordeaux in Ligue 2 and also the results that I got using France in the World Cup test in Football Manager. So let's get stuck into this game against Poland. I took my work to Poland. So here we are, we have kicked off. I forgot my headphones downstairs as well. Has Mbappe with an early corner, whips it in, but it's headed out. Oh, what's going on? Oh, we've hit the post. What is going on? Everyone seems like they're just stalling. We've hit the post from a long shot um, from Lopez, actually. That was a bit of a crazy start. Here is Mbappe with a corner. He whips it in. There's nobody home, though. It is headed out. Here comes Lopez now. He picks up the ball. He's going to give it to Mbappe, surely. Yes, he does. He finds him. He's going to whip it in. Hard and low. There is Dembele. Nice wing play there from Mbappe. And he gives it to the right winger, Dembele. And it's 1-0 to the French boys. To the French boys. I mean, the goal came from a corner. It was headed out. Lopez does well here. I thought he was going to play this pass earlier. He, he doesn't play it early. Nonetheless, it gets to Mbappe. He drives it low to Dembele. And it's... Here is Mbappe with a dangerous free kick. There's going to be a lot of set pieces. Here is Rafael Varane as well. It's 2-0 to France. I, I was going to say, I do believe there's going to be a lot of set pieces because imagine Dembele and Mbappe running at you and that is the focus of your attacks. Get the ball to Dembele, give the ball to Mbappe, let them run at the fullbacks. I mean, we are going to get a lot of throw-ins, free kicks and corners, hopefully, hopefully. There is 10 minutes left. There's Zielinski with a deep free kick for Poland. He plays it or he looks to play it to Klitsch. There's Varane, Varane gives it to Mbappe, Mbappe drive. Dri oh, I see Dembele here. Yeah? Oh, that's too many. I see Dembele as well. Go on, Mbaps. Go on, Mbaps. Lovely play for Fana. Oh, it's cool. Easily for sure. That was terrific stuff by Mbappe. And that is exactly what we want to see. Oh, Chesney kicks it long. Pavard intercepts it, though. Here's Dembele. Oh, lovely pass to Mbappe almost. Oh, here's Benzema. He's broken through and it's free. It is free. Lovely pass by Lopez. Surprise call up. For Maxime Lopez, he's in here, but he doesn't look out of place. He's playing some lovely, lovely balls, and that was one of them into Ben Zima. Here's Dembele plays it out wide, looking for Mbappe. The fullback does well, but it falls to the wrong person, Lopez, and then it goes to Ben Zima, and it is three goals to the zero. Here's Benjamin Pavard throws it long to Ben Zima. Oh, it's gone through. He pulls it back. Oh no, the centre back clears the ball. It's back to Benji. Benji to Rafael Varane. Rafael? Rafael Varane. <laughs> There's Kambembe for Fana now. He plays it over the top to Tuchemeni. He's thrown goal. He's. What's happening? It's Mbappe. It's four. That's one for Dembele, one for Mbappe. Both wingers have scored, which is always, always a nice touch considering this is a tactic heavily focused on the wingers. He does well here. The, oh, the keeper saved it. Okay. I thought it was just a weird shot. It's fallen to the wrong person again. Mbappe at the far post and it's 4-0. So it's half time. It's half time. France with 10 shots. Nothing ridiculous. Just the 10 shots. 7 on target. XG of 2.27 as well. So a nice XG. We've got a lot of the ball. Though this isn't heavily based on possession. 
but it's always nice to get that <laughs> that number of possession and 81% of our passes completed. It's half time. Let's start the second. It's Mbappe again. I'm telling you, we are just going to get a lot of free kicks. And notice that it's always down Mbappe's side as well. Far post, Kimbembe has the ball over the bar. There's Kaminski for Poland. Zielinski. He's looking for Mateusz Klik. What a pass that is as well. He plays it back to Fila. Fila in the box to Zielinski. Nice block. Here's Dembele. Let's go. Let's go. Here's our break. Here is our break. Here's Dembele down the right flank. He's cutting it inside. Gives it to Benzema. The ball's going to go off to the opposite flank. Mbappe. Oh, you just don't stop those kind of attacks from France. What an absolute beautiful kind of attack. That was hot. That was absolutely hot. I mean, Poland were in a very good position to grab a goal here, but then we broke. It fell to Dembele. He ran. He ran. Gave it to Benzema. A lovely free pass into Mbappe. When you see the player rolls, that move makes so much, so much sense. It's almost perfect compared to the player rolls. Here's Zielinski, the DM with <laughs> that has a name and I can't pronounce it. Here's Mateusz Klik, Kaminski. Is it going to be a carbon copy of the last goal? Zielinski. It might not be. Hezelski. No. Ah, yes, we still got the clean sheet for now. We still have the clean sheet for now. I believe we've got to get stuck in here. We've got to put our foot in. Well, yeah, look, see, we're allowing them into the game. I don't even know what the keeper's doing there. The keeper's just come out into no man's land. Absolutely no reason to come out here. Zielinski whips it. Look at him. Look at the keeper. Look. Just no attempt to even get it. So I made a tactical tweak. I told my team to uh, get stuck in, but I also changed the, my pressing trap. Oh, don't tell me. To be fair, we have enough chance from set pieces. I guess it's their time. Yeah, look, set piece now. They're just going to come back into the game. This is fairly disappointing. End to it. Here's for Fana, Varane. I think we're just we're waiting for Poland to press. I've got a feeling we're going to lose the ball and see the players. Here's Lopez, Mbappe. Looking for Dembele. I mean, that was lovely football, to be fair to them. He's going to pull it. Oh, he, I thought he was going to pull it back. But he's got the ball again. Have a shot, son. And the ball goes over and wide. Here is Benjamin Pavard now to Fofana. This is... Eh? Don't let them score again, man. Please, no. They're going to score again. What is What has happened there? There's Pavard for Fana. He just completely forgets about the ball. Wow. So that game ended 5-3. I mean, Poland scored two set-piece goals in that absolute weird goal at the end. We scored, I would say, four nice goals out of the five. And yeah, that is how the tactic can play out. Let's, let's just forget about the three goals that Poland did score because you guys will see the results from Bordeaux and France. But for now, let's have a look at the tactic. So let's talk about the tactic, team instructions, positive mentality, attacking with fairly wide. So we are playing kind of expansive and we also are focusing down the left and down the right, which you saw in that match. We are also playing out from the back for the passing directness, slightly short. Sure. The tempo is on slightly higher, but if you want a tweak, here is a tweak already for the tempo, you can go to higher. Now for dribbling as well, you can also tweak this. You don't necessarily have to use this in a lot of the games especially at Bordeaux this is how we shaped up so slightly higher tempo and without the run at the fence now I'm not sure if this is a user interface bug but it, from middle and one notch there's not actually a difference though at Bordeaux we did use slightly higher just like this so again there's some tweaks here if you don't want to play with extremely high tempo you can run out the defense if you're running uh if you're playing with an extremely high tempo sorry you can remove run at the defense just to balance the risk in transition when the possession has been lost we don't have anything like you saw against poland though we did get caught on the transition so you may want to add counter press if you notice your team getting caught a lot in transition though again a bordeaux i played a whole season without touching this whatsoever when the possession has been won you can then make your counter attacking movements when the goalkeeper's in possession distribute the ball to the center backs and take short 
kicks. Lastly, out of possession, we are playing with a high press, a high line of engagement and a higher defensive line. The trigger press set to more often. I did tweak this. Sometimes I left it in the middle on slightly more often or majority of the times I used more often. And for the person trap, trap inside. Or again, you can make the tweak of just not having it at all. If you do download this tactic, you can start without it. And But for me, I just felt it worked better or sometimes it worked better with it on. Now for the player roles in goal, we do have a standard goalkeeper, nothing fancy. The left back is a wing back on support. Think about TL Hernandez for France and right back. We do have a wing back on defense. Again, think about France, Benjamin Pavard at the back. We do have two standard central defenders, but they are asked to play more direct passes. So when basically when they got the ball, try and cover as much ground with their pass as possible. So it's slightly different to taking a risk because with a risk, you're kind of playing a through pass or you're trying to unlock the opposition's defense, but with more direct, it's more about the length. In midfield, we do have a ball winning midfielder as our DM in central midfield. We do have a central midfielder on support running wide with the ball, but also staying wider to help with that wing play, the Mazala doing similar. He already stays wider naturally, but he's also going to be running wide with the ball and have some nice link up play with the inverted winger. Now moving forward onto the left winger, we are using it inside forward. Think Kylian Mbappe. And well, you saw how he could perform in the match engine, but you also saw the magic man inverted winger on attack, Dembele, who is becoming, who is becoming one of my favorite players in real life. Lastly, up top, we do have a deep line forward on attack now in the game i did say once you see the player roles that move that counter attacking move doesn't make sense so the inverted winger he got the ball dembele he drove but he didn't drive with it wide he actually cut inside and he linked up with a deep line forward who happened to position deep he picked up the ball and then he played his take more risk pass into mbappe who is an inside forward who is supposed to be moving more laterally and getting in between defenders which is exactly what he did and he finished off the move so that goal was the perfect if you're looking at these roles inside forward on the um, left inverted winger on the right deep line forward how could they link up i mean that goal is the perfect example but this is the tactic some tweets like i said you can remove this you can drop your defensive line in transition you can use a counter press and in possession you can reduce the tempo you can add run at the fence so that there is a tactic all wrapped up. There are no play instructions apart from the central midfielders who are running wide with the ball and staying wide. And now it's time to look at some of those results. So we can stay with France in the FIFA World Cup. We beat Senegal. Poor Senegal. We beat them 6-1 in the final. Very comfortable. Benzema grabbing two. Antoine Griezmann scoring in the 27th minute. Mbappe with his penalty. Kingsley Coleman grabbing two goals for himself. In the, well, in the National League, we are top of that group. But we can see some stats in the World Cup. We scored the most goals with 24. The team that came second with is with 15 for the most shots for it is france of course for the shots against we aren't in the top eight so defensively we have some work and that can be in transition maybe counter press is the better option average possession we are in eighth place most tackles one we are in second place most dribbles made in third most clean sheets we are joint second and for the fewest conceded not even in the top eight and for the player records Benzema with 13 goals looking at the assist Mbappe and Dembele both with three so nice both of our wingers are on that list and um, Benzema with the most shots four for the most man of the match awards our left back with three Benzema with four most key passes Griezmann with 25 pass completion I mean our goalkeepers there most tackles one Griezmann <laughs> most dribbles made Tio Hernandez most clean sheets our goalkeeper joint second and for the fewest considered our goalkeeper is not even there but that's the result for France now let's look at Bordeaux and how they did in Ligue 2 We have traveled, I was going to say traveled to France, but we were already France in the first place. We are now in league do. And as you can see, Bordeaux have won the league. We played 38, we've won 30, we've drawn five. Those five losses, three coming away to at home. And those losses, all three coming away from home and all three being one nil defeats. For some context, Bordeaux were predicted by the media to finish third. So we are still a really good team, a team hopefully 
getting promotion and I wouldn't say luckily, deservedly, we are champions. In the Coupe de France, we got to the quarterfinal, which is very respectable. I mean, the board's expectation was just to be competitive. If we hover over the performances on 80%, so we made them really happy. We made the board really happy. We got knocked out by Lille, but only, only on penalties as we can see here it was a nil nil game if we go into it we were by far the better team as well having 21 shots xg on 2.10 lil by the way in league un obviously their goalkeeper getting the man of the match who saved their backside we of course scored the most goals in the league we had the most shots for for the few shots against i mean so club football and international football might be a little different i did say the transition was weak for france it wasn't the same story at bordeaux as we can see shots against two for one one. so i mean yeah think about that i guess <laughs> most possession as well bordeaux was 61 percent again club football international football even league un and league do can be two different ball games most tackles won not in the top eight most dribbles made we are fifth place most clean sheets bordeaux on top with 21 and for the fewest conceded bordeaux on top with 20 Three. Now for the top goal scorers, Josh Major or Major scored 30 goals in League 2. Our winger as well with 17 goals. Most assists, our winger Albert Ellis with 12 goals. Josh Ma uh, 12 assists, sorry. Josh Major with 11 assists. For the most shots for Josh Major joint top with Mikel Behan. Albert, I mean, this Albert Ellis is a very, very good player on Football Manager. Well, for this league anyway. Of course, when he goes to League 1, he might not perform anywhere near the same for the best uh, for the most key passes it's our ukrainian with 77th in place eighth for the best pass completion we don't care most tackles won nobody's there most dribbles made it is our left winger so again it's two different we're getting two different results tio hernandez getting a lot of um dribbles which is the left back the left back nowhere to be seen in this list our goalkeeper with the most clean sheets and for the fewest conceded our goalkeeper is in third place the data hub because i do love the data hub xg expected to score 67 we scored 84 expected points on 78 we got 95 points and we were expected to finish first that is exactly where we finish attacking efficiency we were aggressive and we were clinical as well the shooting we were aggressive and clinical clinical shooting is always always a good thing now if we're looking at crossing as well because wing play was a huge part of this tactic and we made a lot of crosses and we were also accurate so our wing play seemed like it was on point is there anything else that we want to see here so comparing some of our attacking stats compared to the league average we by far the best team by far the best team in league door even when it comes to cross completion which let us down in the last video but it's nice to know in our wing play tactic we are actually getting a decent cross completion ratio but unfortunately that wraps up today's video tomorrow or even later sorry because i've recorded this on wednesday evening so it's going to come out on thursday morning I'm hoping the Spain tactic is going to come out the same evening as this video. So today, as you guys are watching it, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment of any tactical recommendations. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. God bless. Thank you for having me. And toodles.